Hello boys and girls, week four. Our focus is going to be, we thank God for people who help us. Week four is going to be filled with blocks and tools as we pretend to help Nehemiah to build. Nehemiah had lots of people to help him and we have so many people who help us. We're going to thank God for our teachers and our grocery store workers, the doctors, the trash collectors, um, our parents and grandparents, uncles, aunts and cousins who help us. Thank you, God, for all of the people that help us. Amen. I just want to thank God for the way he made me. Everywhere I look, I see how much he loves me. I am so excited. I am so excited. And I just can't hide it. And I just can't hide it. helping me and my family. Last week, she brought over this delicious spaghetti dinner. That spaghetti was so good. It was very nice of Miss Kathy Sue to help us, so I thought I'd make her a card. I just remembered somebody else who helped me last week. Mr. Luis, the handyman, helped fix my soccer goal so we could keep playing. That was very nice of him. I want to write him a thank you card too. Oh, and then there's Mr. Jimmy down the street. I fell off my bike right in front of Mr. Jimmy's house. He came out, gave me a band-aid, and helped me get home. I really want to write him a thank you card. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? 
Oh, working hard today, are you? I am. I'm making thank you cards for all the people in my neighborhood who helped me. Neighbors can be super helpful. It's true. I know of a man who had great neighbors too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, Stormy Jane, this is a really big stick. It's really heavy. Do you think you can get it? Okay. Go fetch. Oh, hi friends, I'm Carrie, and today I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Can you get it, Stormy? Is it too heavy? Oh, your friend Pepe is helping you. Thank you, Pepe. It's good when friends help, especially when you have a big job and you can't do it on your own. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you guys want to hear a story? Okay, great. This true story from the Bible begins with a city wall. That's right, a very big, big, big wall that went all around the city of Jerusalem. The wall was there to keep people safe. The wall had been there a long time and had started to get old. There were so many holes in it that it did not keep the people safe anymore. It needed to be fixed. This is Nehemiah. He used to live in Jerusalem. When Nehemiah heard the wall had holes in it, it made him very sad. Everyone show me your sad face. Yes, very sad, just like Nehemiah. Nehemiah wanted to do something about the broken wall, so he decided to fix it himself. But he was just one person and the wall was big, big, big. Nehemiah couldn't fix it all by himself. He needed help. On the count of three, everyone yell, help. Ready? One, two, three, help. Listen, do you hear anyone coming? <laughs> Yay, lots of people came to help fix the wall. They all got to work helping on different parts. These people fixed a gate. These people worked on a tower. And these people fixed this part of the wall. There were lots of people and everyone helped. The people worked and worked and worked until one day, the wall was finished. Everybody celebrate, hooray! <laughs> Nehemiah was thankful God had given him people to help him fix the city's wall. God is good. Oh, hi Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God gives us people to help. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God gave Nehemiah people to help him finish the city wall. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. People help Nehemiah just like my neighbors helped me. I'm so thankful for them. I know. I can put my neighbor's names on leaves for the thankful tree. I'm thankful for Miss Kathy Sue and Luis the Handyman and I have a lot of leaves, Dad. See you later. Bye. Hi, Classroom Kids. Hey. Today we are going to be learning our memory verse. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalms 107.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalms 107.1 Now we're going to do it louder. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalms 107.1 
on 1071. Good job, Crossbow Kids. Bye. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. I know that I can trust him. No matter what the season. His plans are for a reason. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 cause love will never change. I know they are good, I know they are best The reason I know is because I said He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me Got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know.